Are we on the ham radio? <laughs> um, you're our only second guest since Taylor Tomlinson. Really? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I was like so excited you asked me so soon back. Back by popular demand. Aww. People love us. Why? I I got so much good response from it. And it was, I was like fascinated by our discussion. I had like blacked out during it. I disassociated. I loved watching it back. I don't usually like watching things back, but I was like, oh, they're good together. <laughs> like we're the best. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, yeah, I don't, I, I, it was a love fest for sure. And it just really solidified something for me about you. Like I just, it just felt really good and, and sincere. And I just felt great about you after it. I love that you have boundaries and are an open book. Thanks. The boundaries thing I still struggle sense. with. Yeah. How? I just want to people please, you know. It's Who? You. Be specific. Why? I mean, I still, I like, when we were just in your bedroom and you were, like, changing and we were talking, I was like, wait, are you comfortable right now? Like, are you being yourself? And I was like, yeah, I think I am. Like, I'm really, like, this is, like, how I would be around my sister. Yeah. Like, and that isn't always the case, especially with, like, a new friend, especially Whitney are, Cummings' Are new we friend. new friends? I feel like, yeah. Can yeah, I mean, know. like, we've we've always known each other, but we're we finally... We had a lot to unpack. Yeah. We, it was it was always going to be surface if we ran into each other, like, ha, huh, you know, just I pleasant, feel like when we ran real. into each other, our um, voices went up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! Hey! Hey! And then you turn into a pretzel. Hey! Yes, yes. Love you, give us a <laughs> And it, I can go into that sometimes with you. Like, I... Yeah, I just, there, I want you to like me. I'm just going to admit it. Like, I, I desperately want you to like me. But if I do say I like you, do you believe me? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. I do. Because I have nothing to offer you. Okay. So, I like how you were like, hey, I'm going to think of some things. And then you go, no, that's, that's spot on. No, I really don't. That's why I, I, I trust it. Um, and there's no reason why you, yeah, it's, it feels real. We have a lot in common. You tell me things that I feel like, wow, she really trusts me to not divulge this to anyone else. Like we have a, I, a there's a trust there. And that's, I've told I think, you some crazy shit. Yeah. Just like minutes ago you while you were naked. I, <laughs> like you just like took off your top. And it was like, that was to me <laughs> getting to see you topless was a treat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you. I, and I stopped myself from being like, "You're like you're in, you look in, insanely good." Like you're just like, it, it, "What? I, I, what what do you do in that Use moment?" Use your words. Okay, this is um, our New Year's resolution. Okay, yes. Ooh, yeah. Um, I wanted to like just shower you with compliments about how good you look and like a topless, how like amazing Why? you look naked. Why? This naked. Is about you. Uh, what? It's about you. Because you were naked in front of me, and like I never see my like I don't you see have, people naked a lot. My friends, I mean, I do, but you have I have sisters. Seen, yeah, I have a sister, but we don't get naked in front of each other that often. And she lives away, and What's I just up like with that. Um, I don't know. We just never got naked in front of each other. I think as a ch <laughs> okay, <laughs> we want to go there as a child. Yeah, that's what we do here. I oh my god, I've really never said this. We can cut so, it. We can okay, cut it. Let me just say it. Um. I think I developed, like, you know, like, when you're a, a little girl, like, your vagina's just, like, just a slit. You know, like, it was just, like, it's just a, a baby vagina until you, like, mature and then things start, like, m moving around down there. Things are growing. Like, it gets more bulky. And I remember taking a bath with my sister when we were kids. And my sister does listen to this podcast. So, yes, I remember this. What's I don't think name? we've ever talked about it. Lauren. Love you. She's amazing. And she saw my vagina that had probably like my clitoral hood <laughs> you know like the bump over the clit that looks like an like old chip K -K -K piece of gum. hood yeah like yes you know the thing you have to lift to find your clit i had that and she was like nikki you have a penis and i don't even have a big clit like it's that's not a th it's it that would be a whole other story but i just she was like you have a penis and she told my mom <laughs> and i was like in fifth grade and it was really damaging so i was like i shall never get naked in front of her again um because she might Reveal, like she might see my balls or <laughs> my Adam's apple. <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> Why? Who cares? 
Because it's funny because we um, all have had some iteration of that. Yes. Yes. It is relatable. And that's that's the honesty thing that I I. I, I yeah I get I I I like to talk about these things that and I, it's rare that I come across one that I'm like I've never shared this and it's making me nervous and that's very exciting to me because I feel like sometimes I've just said it all you know do you ever feel like I have no more stories I have no more secrets mm-hmm. and that to me is one that I've buried so deep and haven't talked about but I'm so glad to do it because that's the shit when you share something like that that's when you get the DMs of like I thought I was the only one and like. And that's all I want to do with my comedy. DMs are all dicks. <laughs> so in towels, black towels. Guys, right now are guys, saying, "I thought I was the only one." Guys with black towels. <laughs> I know. We guys with black. <laughs> so they don't have to wash them. Guys, it's so smart. Every guy has a black towel <laughs> behind their dick. Like they're they're giving taking their photo. Guys, there's like a ramen noodle and a black towel. <laughs> oh, is it? and like a loofah. And I, I can tell you based on your dick pic what stage of a relationship you're in. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. So usually these guys are in relationships? If there's a sliver of an Irish spring. <laughs> <I'm> so <laughs> single, yes. If there's a, a, a comet cleaning, like you're single. I got it. <laughs> but if there's like a Bath and Body Works. Mm-hmm. A cl- shower caddy. Plumeri- <laughs> Of any sort, uh, like an Plumeria. organizing shelf. Yes, Plumeria. Oh my God, cucumber melon. <laughs> Just a classic. If there's like a body shop mango body butter. <laughs> I like your ex. <laughs> Wild. Yeah, so what were we even saying? You, yeah. seem, you seem happier than the last time I saw you. I'm Calmer. so much fucking happier, dude. Calmer. I'm medicated properly uh, tell and i'm like tell me everything. i've just like had a lot of breakthroughs i um i got diagnosed with adhd what which you explain it not Ex- tell me the a the h and the a and the d um, i don't even know i think it's hyperactive is the adult attention deficit hyperactive disorder do i have that probably <laughs> I'm not joking you let's you, call uh, you dr joe rogan does ritalin make you focused i've never taken ritalin you haven't? No. Or Adderall? Adderall I've taken. Okay, the same I thing. I wrote my book on Adderall. Okay, there you go. Yeah, you you have it. Well, that's not, the, and that's obviously not the determining factor, but I had to go in. I was having terrible depression over the summer, and I've had bouts of it throughout my life, but like suicidal thoughts. How? Just, like, tell me the thoughts. Kill yourself. How? Um, uh, gun. Uh, I would just have images of myself. It, it wasn't a, there was no c- context to it. It would just be like an image of me going like this. Like it would just, I'd be like, it's, I've compared it to when you get sick and you start getting sniffles. The first sign of like, I have the flu. If I have an image of a gun, like putting a gun to my head, I'm like, oh fuck, uh, depression's coming. God fucking damn it. And it, it, it's not even like, I'm like, I'm going to go think about killing myself. It just is an invasive thought. And it's, it's the blink of an eye. Like it happens very fast, but I'm just like, oh no, here it comes. And then it, and then comes the immense, um, just there's no point to anything. I'm I've tricked everyone into thinking I'm talented. I have nothing to offer this world. Do you smoke weed? I I used to. I, I kind of got away from that too. I yeah. want to talk about that. But anyway, yeah, I got weed. I was medicating with weed to make me feel better because I would instantly feel this like it wouldn't make me tired. It would make me want to talk and like be excited about the world. And I was just <laughs> and then I started having just Sativa really bad or memory. Indica. I, whatever you got. I mean, like, I would take the the upper. So it's in the couch and sat <laughs> up in the couch. I don't know. You're, you're in the couch for both of them. So, um, yeah, I was I was medicating with weed. I could not stop doing just smoking every day during the pandemic. And I, my memory was being affected so much. Yeah. And I was doing it before the pandemic, too. I was like a dud. I was useless. Yeah. When you so you had a, like a year of a lot of weed smoke and how weed smoking and how did you get into it? Like, how'd you fall into that? I was just I had migraines and just general yeah. malaise as women. We just have pain all that. I look like the worm so pretty. from Labyrinth. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I was doing these vapes <laughs> to fall, and we oh, tore. Oh, yes, the vapes. And we tore. I mean, it really is like we have chosen a lifestyle 
that kind of recreates our childhood circumstances <laughs> in terms of like alcohol comb. You, 8 p.m., that's when shit hits the fan. Pick mom up, get the, tell, go tell the neighbor everything's fine, everything's fine. Sorry about that. Sorry we hit your mailbox. Sorry we drove it, you know. It's, a, it's dark. Dude, mailbox. It's real dark. And I've had a mailbox incident with mom, mom in the mailbox. Of course. And uh, so, sorry, blah, 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 sorry that I threw, that we were screaming in the yard. Um, everything, uh, we're play acting, whatever the lies. So where does weed come into this for you? Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, uh, not on it now. Shockingly, <laughs> this is actually my personality. Um, uh I was would go to uh, Tempe Improv and you know yeah. whatever where I was going uh, Addison Improv when I was because I like to run my specials in clubs because mm -hmm. that's how you really know mm -hmm. rest in peace clubs um, and I needed it to sleep also mm -hmm. at night it was the time when you if you grew up in an alcohol home, that's when you got molested. Sorry. Mm. Nighttime was the time where you had to be on high alert, hyper vigilant. What's happening? Whose footsteps are those? Like you had to be, you know, yeah. mom to, to crashing, glasses breaking, phones being thrown. Yeah. Um, also, this was, uh, I talked to Dr. David Agus about this, that the night watcher theory, which I bring up a lot of um, in tribal times when we uh, were the people that stayed up all night to protect the tribe mm. bred, right? And they were, their circadian rhythms were essentially inverted. Okay. Right? So they stayed up all night, lions, tigers, bears, um, to... Molesters. Molesters, <laughs> totally. Yeah. And then they bred with each other, and they, these were ah. the people that thrive at night. Yes. The people that like at, at 2 a.m., you're like, I'm my most creative. And so you would need it to wind down, the weed to wind down. Yes, but I was also in, uh, yes, 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 yes. Um, I, I remember like as a kid and the flight attendant, I, I know Kaylee Coco was on the podcast. I'm not like push getting paid to say this, like the ancestral trauma and the alcoholism of all that shit really comes through in the show the flight attendant mm. because i remember drinking nyquil as like a kid right and being like Bleh. just trying to escape. like just trying to fucking clock, shut it off conk out yeah i remember it and then i remember the coffee and then i remember the, and yes. i remember i remember um you know people think i'm so crazy uh my mom driving me to work into school mm. you know that hungover and then i'm in a mall <sighs> and i'm in christmas land because she worked we, you know we worked in malls and so i'm like <laughs> skip school oh my god it for makes the day so much sense. and i get the to christmas and i get to decorate trees mm. instead why am I talking, Nikki? Because I asked you. I mean, like, we're still getting to know each other and, like, Stop unpeeling things. And me I have to read you. your book. I, I, I didn't know. I, it anyway. came out the day of the Vegas shooting. Oh, okay. So. That's what I was doing that day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, um, that didn't sound right. I mean, I was. And you only had one day to read it. So. from them, <laughs> yeah. right? Um, no, I do. I knew I, I need to like that's I, I do need to read it because but I feel like I also yeah, I think we just need to hang out more and I need to get more stories. So I, I use this time as as a time to get to know you because I do have so many questions for you. But I do agree with like the, the family, the, the trauma that is inherited in your DNA from because I just recently found out that like suicide is in my family and my parents have never talked about it. And I go, OK, this would have been nice to hear that I'm not alone on this and that these thoughts aren't coming from like that I'm just I'm I'm the first flawed one of our family like that this is there's a history of this and I um and my problem is I wouldn't want weed to like get me out of it weed would make me happy immediately so it would get me out of it in that way but I wouldn't want to drink I wouldn't want to sleep I would I when I get really depressed I start going I'm right 
<laughs> I'm seeing things clearly and I know the truth and I don't want to get medicated because I don't want to live in a world where I'm lying to myself that things are good when things are so fucking bleak and you really are worthless and you really should kill yourself and you're right to think this. Don't, don't, never forget that you know right now that this is right. And it takes, it takes friends being, telling you like you're, you sound really crazy and being worried for you and... I, I just got there's to the a, point where there's a little bit of the um, addicted to the attention from it. Like I remember when um, someone in my life kept threatening to kill herself and I'm like, she's just driving over there after drinking NyQuil to stop her from killing her. And then um, Georgia, my sponsor uh, is like, someone who's texting you they're going to kill themselves isn't going to kill themselves right they're going to do yeah it. i never did that you know so yes. yeah sorry i just no 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 but I, that is that's so that's I was not like, always the truth so it let's made me not go say like, that it made me go like oh so i don't have to go do i go over there and you know it's just yeah. such a nightmare it's it's it sucks when people do like i so, i never wanted to share these thoughts with people because I, I didn't have a plan to kill myself yet you know like this was always like eventually i will have to how am i gonna do it uh, and and being really sad about like the fact that this seems like a terminal d disease like is eventually is gonna get me when am i gonna go for it and it's like, I have no plan of doing that, but it just was always felt like, oh, it was just imminent. And so I would never tell my friends. And then when I started telling my friends my thoughts, just kind of like putting it out there a little if bit. If you killed yourself, I would fucking. Oh, no, know. it would be the it's the it's the worst thing to do to it's everyone so in your life. And you wouldn't do it. You I would for I'm too scared to do it. And I, and I hate to say that, like, I'm, I'm glad that there's nothing in me that wants to right now because I'm medicated. Nobody. And I want to talk about that. Yeah. Nobody talks about um how the. uh the media now sounds is like the new feminism like the word has lost its value um <laughs> but when the media they're called a cluster suicides when, oh yeah when the media bourdain and kate um, spade um kate Sp i know and when they promote and everybody posts it posts it posts it and then they say glorified you're so brave it gets glorified mm -hmm. and you go i want a somber black and white picture that everyone shares on instagram i but the thing is you not you're not gonna be around about it. to see those tributes stop posting about it yeah i um you're right they it, it needs to not be covered stop but the getting likes is, on someone who killed themselves yes it's but that is um yeah, I, I and I lost someone to suicide when I was in high school. A friend uh, shot himself. I think that's why I go to the gun thing. Uh, a friend Whoa. shot himself. That and Did I you talk saw. About that? Yeah, yeah, a little bit here and there. And it was he was someone that wasn't a Have close you? friend, and my parents didn't like know him. But I just was friends with him at school, and he killed himself because he told he left a note on my best friend since fourth grade's uh, doorstep that he was killing himself because she didn't love him. He had confessed his love to her. I was in the backseat of the <laughs> car when he did it three days prior, two days prior. And I was just giggling in the backseat like, oh my God, he's like confessing his love. And she's like, I just don't feel the same way. And we went to my house and we're like, oh my God, what's he going to leave in your locker on Monday? Because he would always confess his love. She'd be like, I just want to be friends. Then he'd do How old? Seniors in high school. And um, and then he didn't come to school that Monday and he shot himself with a rifle that he had showed us um, that he got for his birthday to go hunting uh, a couple days before. And it was just and the the thing with that was I this is the, what bugs me more than anything. And I'm attracted to people who recreate this for me. But I was not allowed to be sad about his death because my parents were like, you didn't know him. Like, what are you sad about when I get sad about celebrities death that I don't know? Just having boyfriends being like, are you? Are you really upset right now? Are you crying? And then I go like, oh, I shouldn't feel sad. So I have really a, a hard time feeling sad and crying. I like, I can't do it, honestly. If you had a dog die? Uh, I mean, family dogs, but not a personal dog yet. No. Yeah, you'll cry. Yeah. Yeah, no. What's the last time you cried? I can't remember. But, you know, I probably uh, when Benton I was Benton had to really see me depressed. cry. Yeah. Benton had to see me cry after I... We all have. We follow your stories. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been unmuted by Nikki Glazer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been unmuted. Because now when I see you, I honestly, like, smile because I'm like, 
I don't know. I, I love you. So it, it brings me joy. It doesn't cause me to go, oh, my God, I need to be doing this. I mean, there's a, a couple things you do, what? like giving gifts, decorating, having renovations, just like being busy, just like working and like providing for people and being friends with everyone. I'm like, when does this girl have time? And now it makes sense that you don't really sleep because it annoys you. It doesn't annoy me. It just like makes me feel like, God, I need to be doing that. The compare and despair. It's just But do you stupid. think I'm like manipulative? No. Or like my motives are sticky? No. I mean, like maybe you want to be, I, I'm, I'm guessing you are someone who wants to be liked by people. and, and I just kind of want to have the family I never got. Yeah, that makes sense. I just want sisters. Yeah, I want to be your sister. Like, it feels really good to be in the in the mix. Like, I, I get that. It's and hard to I get you I in the mix. I used to think. I know it is. I'm really. I feel like I have had to work really hard to get you. It's to be been really. I I've, I've needed you to to really I like know. be over the top with it. And I know. yeah, that's what I need. So that's really works for I'm me. I'm playing easy to get. No, thank you for doing that. It makes me feel really good, and that's the only way to get me out and doing things. But I, yeah, that makes sense to me. But I think I used to really. Like, but I think you would you hate you because under, of that all, of all those things. And which, not hate, I used to like not like you because and be jealous of you because of how hardworking you were, and it was all my because I I want to. Oh, I'm sorry because I wanted. I think I keep thinking you're comforting me or like I wanting am, to connect with me, I'm, and then you're like, just stop <laughs> with the table tapping. I can um, never stop like the misophonia stuff. Oh can no, we talk with our you hands have misophonia. Should I'm silencing a woman right now? That's yeah. what I'm doing. She's talking with her hands. Body language is way more important than verbal language. And I'm silent. I'll never hit this table again. Knock on wood. <laughs> and then Knock I do it. And then Ben's it's like, bitch, I will pull up all the clips of you hitting I'm the table. So, no, I'm sorry. I, you'll have to remind me again. But if it gets you to touch it's me, like I'm Rogan in, into it. The, oh, the yeah. The microphone yeah. up. And I'm like, since when am I shy? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I used to resent you. There. Yeah. I totally my God, you I'm so sorry. Really st I was stop a, that. No, I do. I because do. that's me. That's I my was. Stuff. A, I that is You're your who stuff. You are. I was annoying though. I, I I I know I'm triggering. I know. But it's because you're really pretty and really good at what you do and really hardworking and and I know you hate that but like you are there's just no doubt about it but you, and and you're just super talented and so smart god the words you use I'm like God I gotta start like getting I was a insecure. word a day I only, calendar I only got smart. Because I was insecure that I wasn't smart. I would yeah, read. Yeah, no, that's not why we do everything. I would read dictionaries and memorize yeah. words because I didn't have any friends. You got good words. I didn't have any friends. Yeah. So I'd read dictionaries. I used to make up um, uh, fake identities. Like, this is how I started writing. I would write, I would interview people in journals of myself. And like name myself Tropical Lake and like <laughs> shit like that. And is that your hair color? Talk to myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is more like moldy. It's so good. I love that you haven't stopped with the hair color. And I love that people are mad at me and they're like, did you see? I I, I mean, I've been canceled so many times. I, I don't you know. You have not. What? I know, but it was like I um, posted a tweet that was like, what was it? Which one? <laughs> was it a Saturday? Use I was your like, words. It's Which a tweet? Saturday. <laughs> it was a Saturday. I was like, just like, well, no one is on Twitter on Saturday. Twitter's for politics. And I was like, oh, it's amazing how Hollywood celebrities are telling everyone to stay home unless you're like a Whole Foods worker or a Postmates yeah. uh, or you're a nanny. Starbucks. Starbucks. Barista. Barista. Mm -hmm. Stay home, stay home. And then... um. Everyone was like, but what about Whitney and her influencer parties, like, or something? And yeah. Not everyone. It was one person. One per Exactly. Yeah. But it, that's it. That's everyone. To be very clear. Everyone. Yeah. <laughs> everyone. I always have to ask that, too, when people go. And then everyone's saying this. Gen I go, no generalizing. That's my... Number, I know it is. Number one New Year's resolution. How do you... Choose your words. Okay. I used... Yeah, I used to have a lot of feelings about you, but um, and they're all like everything that I f that I didn't like about you is all true. I mean, it's it's you're just you're extraordinary, but it comes from I. But I, it's but now I'm like, no, you're actually really you're just so you're really genuinely nice and you're honest, and I really just like how you've been like open about 
who you have been, how you, you're just aware of yourself in a way that's really refreshing. Mm, sleep, 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 sleep. People love it and calm can help mm. you have it. They can. But listen, if you're not getting a solid night's sleep and you're often find yourself scrolling through social media and reading news and not powering down at night, you might really enjoy Calm, mm. which is a fun app where they partner with celebrities and other noises. Celebrities and noises? And other noises. I'm calling them noises. <laughs> and they will tell you I... stories, read you nice things. Calm. 85 million people around the world use Calm to take care of their minds to get better sleep. I use it. Why haven't they asked me? You have a sinus infection. <laughs> I have vocal fry. They have Stephen Fry, Kelly Rowland, yeah, Dern, talking you to bed. They, they read you stories, sleep stories. Oh my god, this is so amazing! It's like ASMR sleep time. That's literally what it is. Like Only, celebrities just, telling you stories yeah. to help you fall asleep. Oh my god, I don't have a soothing voice, do I? Or maybe when I'm you not, did the bunga bunga thing, it was really soothing. I thought maybe I'm not a celebrity, or maybe you can't sleep. <laughs> I don't think people associate me with calming. <clears throat> or maybe not How yet. How did I make this ad about me? Maybe uh, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Okay. Um, <laughs> listen, get the Calm app. It is a really... I, I've had it for a while. I subscribe to it. C-A-L. Calm app. This calm. is amazing people telling you stories to help you fall asleep. Yeah. You can go to calmapp.com slash Whitney. What You'll get the best voice? a limited... T Kathleen Turner. I do not know her name, and that's going to upset you, but the girl in Penny Dreadful, whoever played the lead in Penny Dreadful, Ooh. I love her voice, and she does a calm. You know who I like is um, uh, the girl from, oh, Cassie David on our podcast. Yeah. Her voice, everyone was like, her voice is very soothing. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Yeah, she's Scarlett Johansson voice. Yeah. Lots of good that. voices. I get that. For listeners of the show, Calm is offering a special limited time promotion of 40% off a Calm premium subscription. I wish I would have got that. Calm down. At calm.com calm slash Whitney. You need to calm the That's hell down. That's 40% off unlimited. This calm is too exciting. Yourself. Are you not excited by this? I'm, I am. No, I'm calm. Well, I'm excited. That's 40% off unlimited access to Calm's entire library and new content that is added every week. Get started today at calm.com slash Whitney. That's, That's a tricky calm. Calm.com. That's tricky. <laughs> Whitney. It's C -A -L -M hard to say. Calm.com. 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 That's a tongue twister. Slash Whitney. I don't know a lot about um, wine. I but, do. But I think it's very fancy when people know about alcohol in like a chic way and not like in a I'm a drunk way. Yeah. And I think that's really cool. And Bright Sellers, they do this seven question quiz, which I which we took, and it pairs you with what they think you would like based on like other things in life you like, like what kind of chocolate you like, or what kind of yeah. fruits. Why are we pretending that we all know about wine? Like just surrender. Yeah, we don't know. But stop acting. I learned a lot about wine. You don't from this. like don't don't let people make you feel stupid because you don't know what a nutty, leafy undertone means. Like we all have different tastes. Yeah. But unless you have COVID and have no taste, but like, why are we all plum? Everything tastes different to different people all the time. But Brian Sellers will tell you that they give you a card with each wine, and it gives you the notes in it, and it tells you what temperature they should be. It tells you how to store them, and then you can like. Kind of, once they kind of describe to you what to be looking for, you can kind of taste the things. It's really interesting. Also, I just got these shark wine glasses, ordered them for a man that I thought I was going to date, and he goes to me. But. Which you saw last Christmas as well. <laughs> Not the man. Though. I order them every year, and then my friend Nick breaks them every year, so I have yes. to reorder them. They are very um, so flimsy. Put your Bright Cellars wine in your shark glass. Yes, make sure you subscribe to Bright Cellars wine. <laughs> Uh, the I'm not is, selling the, the glass. The ad is about them. That, uh, <laughs> I'm just saying. I just want you to know. I'm. I'm serious. When you when you learn about wine, you want to have a good glass to drink That's it what in. I'm saying. It makes the experience better. You think? Don't drink it from the bottle like I did. Um, for good for you listeners only. Don't get it breastfed to you like I did. For good for you listeners only, we are giving you 50% off your first six bottle order from Bright Cellars by going to brightcellars.com slash good for you. That's brightcellars, C E L L A R S dot com slash good for you. You can take their seven question quiz to get your wine matches and receive 50% off your first six bottle order. Have you um, done your ancestry? 
No. We gotta. I think my dad did, and I like. What's totally your like? It. What's your ancestral trauma? Missouri. I don't know, I, but we moved there from Cincinnati. Well, there's a lot to unpack there. Well, alcoholism is the main component of mm-hmm. my family. And as as and, and I guess depression, suicide, schizophrenia is in the. But there's a there's a ton of stuff, mm-hmm. and I um so I'm so grateful for all of it. But the yeah, the suicide thing is. I get the glorification of it. When I get really depressed, I like to look up stories of people who have done it because I'm like, oh, how did they do it? And like, and you, you know, it's not even about how they did it. It's you just want to find someone who's as sad as you and who actually sees the world like you saw it. And like, I have my favorite podcasts about like suicide that I go back and listen to when I'm really depressed. It's been months since I've been in that state of mind and thankful. I mean, I was just ready to go to a hospital or something. I was like, oh, you know, I need to go away because I don't, want to I'm not I have no plan to hurt myself I was not in that point of it but I was just like I can't get out of this feeling and I know there's help somewhere so I I people did just you, started telling me I was probably that my depression could be from ADD did you see mm-hmm. um Maria Bamford's uh special on that I know her story but I didn't see her special on it are yeah, there's a uh, Maria Bamford I know she was hospitalized yeah and- she her she was like I don't want to fuck it up um let's just put it in um where she said like my brain's telling me to kill myself. Yeah. I need to go to a facility. Yeah, she checked herself in. I think I, that's so cool that she was out about that. And that's what stuff like that, people like that sharing it. Because you think if I admit that I want, I've wanted to kill myself on Rogan or like what on here, and, and some producer sees that like people don't want to work with someone who might kill themselves. And it's like, I always have to, I always worry like that's a liability being suicidal. But I think- but what is, what is the definition of it? I, it's like, I I mean, we've all had, there are times where I, I remember, um, there's times where I, I, you know, Benton saw me after I saw my mom. <laughs> when I was, every Thanksgiving is brutal. Mm. All the ancestral trauma comes up and I see my mom and she, she does, it always hurts. It just always hurts. Yeah. You know, um, and I'm never going to get her. And that's, it, it's the way it is. And uh, I mean, I was sobbing. I had to pull over. <laughs> you pulled over two or three times. I had to oh, pull wow. over two or three times to just like ball, like that that yeah. deep, like bone crying, like that body that keeps the score. Read the book. Um, and that like heaving crying where you're like rocking. Yeah. It's like cartoon. And it's almost like you, you're like, you've seen it in a movie, so you're kind of doing it. Yes, <laughs> yes. You start to feel like, am I, am I acting it right was, now? It, was, it feels it's right. It's really and, important to note, though, that when Whitney is sad, it looks like sadness. And that's yes, what that's looks the difference. Like. And so I think people get really confused on like, well, you're not depressed, you're this or you're that. And it's like, well, I mean, that's what it looks like. For, it should look like That's this, what it that's should not look it like. like, yes. Yeah, we... I mean, uh, that is that to me is like so healthy that you can sob and like feel those feelings almost immediately and have to pull over three times. That it sounds terrible. I'm so sorry that no, that not even makes you feel that way. But like, that is a healthy expression of sadness. Whereas with depression, it goes we just go inward and hate our it yeah. all the all the sadness goes in and it just um yeah it's it it sucks. But, but I have service 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 service. So then it's like okay now yeah, doing. I'm gonna, s- yeah. decorate my all my fucking trees yeah and then i instantly started ordering a billion ornaments on etsy and i was like all my friends are going to come over and they're bring their kids and i'm going to make a winter wonderland in my backyard and we're going to take photos and we're going to fucking fix this yeah you know it's like how Action. can we transmute that you know it's that like, was the word you used before that i was like that's a good one transmute, transmute. yeah it's a good Ooh. one sublimate is a good one um yes when you uh, take something uh, like some of your pain and use it in your stand-up. Mm-hmm. I'm going to sublimate that pain from my childhood into my art. Like yes. I'm going to make it useful finally. That's mm-hmm. what we're all, we're all doing. We're sublimating our... My thing right now is just like let's stop complaining yeah. and start transmuting. <laughs> like how do we make it work for us? How do we make all this shit benefit us? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No, and it has benefited us. I mean... You this you wouldn't be this way without all this stuff. So I said to you, I was like, <laughs> why haven't you done the twelve step, the ACA adult child of alcoholic twelve steps? Right. So for alcoholism to be present, alcohol doesn't have to be present. No wonder my talk show is canceled. Um, <laughs> I can't talk. 
I can only do stand up where I can practice for a year. I know, yeah. I mean, like, no one knows that I have this like secret like tongue that doesn't fit in my mouth. Um, these are characteristics we seem to have in common due to being brought up in an alcoholic household. Alcoholism can be sewing, cooking, controlling, perfectionism, plastic surgery, pot, hair dyeing. Pot, shopping going, addiction, organizing anything that make that your parent did that made them tuned out for you. And even I'm, the big thing I had was like I have I had a, a, a close relative who does who drinks and um, but they wouldn't do it all the time. It wasn't a chronic. It wasn't all the time. It was just certain times what but, that you saw. But I I saw it and. When they're not drinking, they're thinking about drinking. It's almost worse because they're like, they're, they want, you know, they're, you're, to you're an before. obstacle to their drinking. They're talking to you. and They're they zoned to out. When, I, when I'm, you know, when I'm starving myself, all I thought about was eating. I wasn't connected to anyone. I was no. obsessed with food, you know, so you can't be present even if you're not. Or when I was a, a drinking like oh, oh, yeah, and, and a drunk, I was just if I was sober, but it, it wasn't intoxicated. I was thinking about when can I get and where am I going to get it and where what am I going to go? What was it? Beer? Like I mean, at the uh, yeah, I mean vodka soda, so it'd be like yeah. less calories because I was like mixing addiction. Yeah, I was you gonna know, like, say like I never became, I never drank because I was anorexic. Yeah, that was like my thing. It was like yeah. wine has too many calories. Uh huh. Yeah. But we had in my fridge growing up. And think, think about your fridge growing up. <laughs> think about it. Like figure, sit down, look at your fridge growing up. My fridge growing up, it was like two artichokes for guests we ate artichokes and uh fucking pinot grigio oh wow and like cheese for guests and there was snacking and that was it and coffee diet coke Ugh. yeah so it's like i grew up on thinking that was normal mm -hmm. and then i went to a friend's house and opened the fridge at like seven i was like what's all this juice <laughs> you know it was like that Chappelle sketch which <laughs> down now um Okay, these are characteristics we seem to have in common uh, bringing up an alcoholic household that is not al for alcohol to be present, alcoholism to be present, alcohol doesn't have to be present. Right now, it's happening. You're looking at me. <laughs> Control, perfectionism. One, we became isolated and afraid of people and authority figures. We became approval seekers and lost our identity in the process. We are frightened by angry people and any personal criticism. We either become alcoholics, marry them, or both, or find another compulsive personality such as a workaholic to fulfill our sick abandonment needs. We live life from the viewpoint of victims and are attracted by that weakness in our love and friendship relationships. I'm like panicking, like as if I'm in a meeting reading, like I got <laughs> chose to read <laughs> and I can't do it. Isn't it wild that all these things, like you're just like, how do the all these things come from this? But I, I remember know. the first time I read this list, I was just like, I'm, I finally know what I am. By the way, the new alcoholism, cell phones and computers. Oh God. Kids, I, kids, kids are like, mommy, why are you on that, holding that box totally. in front of my face all day? I mean, e Instead even my mom, I'm still, I'm triggered by her uh, obsession with her phone. Like I just, I feel it's, it, it, it makes me feel. I know. At Benton, seen, I do it with Benton all the time. Like, what are you doing? Who are you texting? What are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? I constantly feel abandoned mm -hmm. and rejected. I try to put it. Uh, I've been a lot better with the phone thing, but yeah, that's a complete addiction. You've got to be addicted to yours, aren't you? We have an overdeveloped sense of responsibility, and it is easier for us to look uh, for us to be concerned with others rather than ourselves. This enables us to not look too closely at our own faults. We get guilt feelings when we stand up for ourselves instead of giving in to others. We became addicted to excitement. We confuse love and pity. Fuck. <laughs> and we tend to, quote, love people we can, quote, pity and rescue. We have stuffed our feelings from our traumatic childhoods and have lost the ability to feel or express our feelings because it hurts too much. This is called denial. We judge ourselves harshly and have very low sense of self-esteem. What? We are dependent personalities who are terrified of abandonment and will do anything to hold on to a relationship in order to not experience painful abandonment feelings, which oh, yeah. we received from living with sick people who were never there emotionally for us, which they couldn't have been because they were in coal mines <laughs> and drinking 
and didn't have antibiotics. So poor them. What else would they, like? Wh- we did the best we could with the tools we had. Yeah. Forgive them all. Forgive our parents. Mm-hmm. Alcoholism is a family disease, and we became para-alcoholics and took on the characteristics of that disease, even though we didn't pick up a drink. So even if you're not, you know, mm-hmm. we're reactors other, uh, rather than actors. I feel like there's a couple things that we should, like, start talking about and a couple things we should, like, stop talking about. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There's a couple things I want to stop talking about. Okay. Like, so let's talk about not talking about them. I think that like me and the eating disorder stuff, like I, I was, we were texting you earlier and I was like, yeah. I'm done talking about it. Okay. And you're like, but I just started. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I'm like, but I did but, yeah, that. So this, but this is your show. So the, we're, we're not going to talk about it. No, I, I think it's important because you'll, uh, I can be of service to you and you can talk about mm-hmm. your shit if you want to. Yeah. I mean, I just, the thing that blew me away that I never thought I would I just don't skip meals ever yep and that was the game changer it was as simple as that because I was a binge eater I would starve all day uh binge at night every single night and um I wasn't What's starving your binge? I mean I was like 12 boxes of cereal and protein bars yeah ah! I can't have cereal in the house like c- cereal I mean I can now because I but cereal by the way where's my milk? ice cream um, protein bars, uh, low like those um, sugar, sh- oh, sugar, sugar low sugar gummy bears. Oh God, those. Uh, the, but the, just what I've done for my colon. Bar. Oh, disgusting. I know. Just diety stuff. The stuff sh- that doesn't fro-yo, taste as good. The sugar free froyo. Yeah, is a real big. Right. Had a so, big moment with that. If you just start eating like a normal person yeah. and don't skip There's meals. There's no such thing as a normal person. Okay. I want to eat. Um, I, I want to be careful and i'm going to be a bully about it sure just use words like bench and i talked about um instead of saying that's not healthy you say that's not helpful oh yeah yeah yeah. you know like to not pathologize ourselves got it not don't bully ourselves no i that's that's a real big thing for me i don't want to be hard on myself about any of the stuff but but we're also fucking comics it would be funny when i say normal eat like just having meals that people don't go what are you eating like yeah. that like that's yeah. been my whole life barbecue just like, sauce on carrots just sauce. yeah yeah that was me <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i and it's also we can also say disordered eating that's another thing yeah you know? i just that has changed everything is um the fact that i just never trusted myself to eat meals that other people that i'd see other people eat because i was like I can't. I always have to have less because I'm different, and it's going to I'm do something different to me. Special. I'm different. Yeah, I can't have that. Yeah. I have to have less, and um, and I always thought, and I was always so hungry that I didn't trust myself to have normal meals because they go, oh, if I have a normal meal, then I won't be able to stop. But it was because I was fucking starving. That's yeah. why I couldn't stop. Yeah. And um, and I just had to like trust, and that's. I think that's just what I like to like get out there is that I just never this intermittent fasting bullshit. Please. Is, like Ugh. just be careful yeah. because it's well everything it's like i just feel like a lot of these diets are excused to have an eating disorder it's like yeah. a, the this and the keto and the paleo and the vegan and the, the it's like everyone's just like needs it yeah excuse. it's the the ultimate addiction is control <laughs> at the end of the day like yeah. when you go home and you're like i'm vegan you know there's an amazing book that i have to find the name of about how in italy um the families were uh breaking apart in a very real way because um you know food is such a big part of how the mothers show loved their children right and after american television came in hashtag silvio berlusconi host of the podcast bunga bunga now on apple podcast i don't even know um uh that they not eating anything with milk or dairy or car not wanting carbs they're rejecting their mother's love. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's like really tearing apart these Italian families. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like if some if your mother serves you, makes you food that she made pasta and you don't eat it. Yeah, it's a rejection of her. We got a problem. Yeah. Well, and when you, when you do have those restrictions on your life, I mean, that's why I didn't go on dates. I didn't, like, I would, uh, oh, that's a meal I have to not such skip. Such a bummer. Fuck, I it's don't. It's exhausting. It's I just cancel it right before because, oh, oh, I have to have a lunch with this producer. Fuck, okay, well, I guess I can't binge tonight. I Waste to, like, of your life force. It's just so much. 
much energy goes into like planning when you can eat when you're it's just obsessive. you were not put on this planet to spend the whole time i'm so about. much happier just not to yeah. let uh, being able to let a little bit of that go and it's you what know what would you say is the main thing that helped you like it was it was not skipping a meal not letting yeah. myself do that yeah, yeah i don't get to do that like the, uh, having yeah. a firm rule because i'm as an anorexic, I'm great at following rules. And so now I've set this rule for myself and I cannot break it. So I have to eat. A bottom lines, right? Yeah. I have bottom lines. Which yeah. It's like I do not skip a meal. And I don't I chew gum. It, why? Oh, man, I'm, I'm a gum addict. I was like with that, cigarettes, like, oh, I'm up to two packs a day. Instead of Instead of eating, eating you can just yeah, chew I gum. Yeah, I did that. I did and the diet soda. Yeah. I I'm on it. coffees now, you know, ice And coffees. then when everybody, I got, someone got mad at me the, uh, uh, about um, someone, sorry, I'm generalizing the thing I'm not doing because I said, don't do anything you don't want to do to Alison Brie. Oh, yeah. I liked that. It's like, don't do anything you don't want to do ever. Yeah. And it's like, and people are like, you don't have good manners and you're this. It's like, no, I just, I've abused myself for so long mm -hmm. and I'm so sorry to my body <laughs> that what I put it through, I'm so like grateful that it like stuck with me. Yes. That I am just trying to make up for lost time with like baths and lotions and oils and good food and olive oil and the, you know, like I'm yes. just trying to, and fat. Yeah. And, and relaxation and not, I mean, but you never stop, but that's, do you just Keep not talking, need I'm sleep? Blow my nose. See, yeah. Blow, like, I'm going to blow my nose. Okay. So I remember hearing a rumor about you that you like, you're like Jay Leno. Like you only need like three hours of sleep to function. Like you're just not that's like not us. True. That's not true at all. I remember hearing like Whitney has the thing where it's like you you're genetically you have a genetic mutation that makes you only need three hours of sleep. Who told you that? A I liar. don't remember. Um, probably just some catty circle of like female comics. Um, okay, so you do sleep. Yeah. Okay. It's the most biggest priority of my life. It's awesome. I love sleep so much. Benton, explain my sleep. She sleeps like a normal person, eight hours. Um, yeah. Yeah. She takes naps too. Yeah. The day. And if she doesn't, That's then so we don't do anything. Yes. <laughs> they come first. And what's your relationship with, um, oh God, what was I just going to, oh, um, oh shit. What was it? No, let me think. Cause it was, it was good. Oh, you know, what's your relationship with doing things that, might not contribute to to work might not might not hobbies healthy hobbies healthy hobbies there we okay, go so that's my thing with a lot of the people <laughs> in uh uh my life that i've seen during this quarantine kind of crumble is like what are your non-work related hobbies what are your i used to have none uh what are you doing for fun and for free that is just for play just for your inner child I remember going to my sponsor, 12 years, Georgia Davis. I mean, she was on the podcast, I think, during quarantine to kind of talk about the whole, like, how traumatizing all of the words the media was using of, like, shelter in place. Like, these are words that were used for, like, hunker down. These are words that were used in war. Like, this is not words we should be using. Mm. So I go into Georgia and I'm like, mom, me, 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 and all my problems, and all my problems, and I'm so, my life is so hard, and, and this, and sexual abuse, and this, and narcissists, and alcoholism, and my life has been so hard. And she's like, okay, so, and I work so hard, and I'm just slammed, I'm slammed, I'm slammed, I have a lot on my plate, I'm the busiest person on the planet, and I'm texting, and I'm, and she's like, so what are your hobbies? And I was like, well, I, like, write shows, and I'm writing a book, yeah. and I'm like, <laughs> you know and she's like no what did like what do you do like for fun and I was horses like, i'll go well that was this was 10 years ago oh gotcha and then i was like so i um no i like hang out with friends like i have this friend that i'm writing a script with and i <laughs> everything was work and Al-Anon's, we tend to, anytime we have a hobby, we turn it into a job so or into a business like right away. So it's like, I'm going to start making quilts. And it's like, oh, God, I should do this for my friend's new baby. Now I need to put this on Etsy. Now I need to start a business. You suck the fun out of it by make, by monetizing it and by making it, yeah. It's no fun And I got to put it on Instagram. Now it has to be, you know. Mm -hmm. So I have uh, now my bottom line uh, is four hours a week. Uh, two hours, two separate days, um, non-work-related hobbies 
where I can't post. Interesting. So I'll do it. I'll post with my horse after we've done our two hours. And then I'll post because people really like, I mean, people, yeah. I, I, people, I'm generalizing people probably think I'm fucking nuts. Uh, uh, what's new? And, but I have to do no phone with the horse. I have to look at the phone in case I have a dog emergency, but I have like really strong boundaries about play and I do adult coloring books. You do? They're awesome. I'll give you one. You, that's, I've heard downstairs. that those work. They're so soothing. Do you like, but you do you like think of ideas for jokes and stuff like i've heard that they're good to like, like yeah it starts to because i meditation i we're we're not I, I just i'm big on leaning into your um uh the crazy things about you like are your superpowers mm -hmm. like your ocds your this your, like how do you make them work for you yes. everyone else is pathologizing you and telling you that you're crazy but like I have all these superpowers that you're trying to tell me are bad. What was the word? Mutinize, mutation. Transmute. Transmute, yeah. Mutinize, mutant, time of mute. <laughs> Transmute. I can remember that. Trans. Transmute. Mute. Like uh, trans, like the 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 trans yeah, movement. Trans and then and mute, you muted like me. What I did you to muted you. me. Yep, I won't forget now. <laughs> so um hobbies and service. What do yeah. we do for other people mm -hmm. so everyone's like whitney's so generous it's like yeah but this is for me also yeah you know so it's like what are your motives i'm gonna give you all this shit yeah and i'm gonna do all this for you and i want to do all this but it's like it's for me also yeah because i get to stop thinking about myself for five fucking minutes oh that's it yeah thank you for letting me not think about myself for five minutes mm -hmm. i remember my, my my ear got bitten off um, oh yeah, I know. a friend of mine came and I was like, help, 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 help. And I just happened to, she's like the only, she's famous. So it was like the only, I was in the waiting room and I was like, uh, asked someone that we didn't even speak the same language. Like look up this person and DM her from me. And like I DM'd her assistant from, cause I didn't have my phone and she came and she's programmed and my ears bleeding and she's helping me. And she was like, thank you so much for letting me be of service. Aww. You know, it was like, thank you so much for calling me. Yeah. I got to not think about myself for two hours. Yeah. And it's hard to ask people for help. Like, I, I have a hard time accepting but it's enough. other people. It's but over. Yeah, it's over. Yeah. 2021. I remember when your ear got bitten. I remember I was like, I want my ear to get bit. Like, it was, there was a little bit of like, God, this is cool. Like, everything she does is cool. Like, being, I think I literally was jealous when your ear got bitten off. It, it's a little flashy. <laughs> it's a little splat. It's like when my um, uh, nude uh, boob got leaked. And uh, I don't know who it was. Maybe Schultz or someone was like, wasn't that planned? And I was like, what? I was like, I wish I was that well, How did that happen? <sighs> I'm talking about it in my next special. Okay. So okay. They'll okay. see it mm -hmm. if we mm -hmm. ever get to do specials again. Yeah. You know? Um. Well. But like, like, let's hit some boundaries for like. I wasn't the only one who saw your boobs you've seen my boobs ever yeah i mean no, I, today I talk, was the first time yeah i also yeah i talked they were crooked and they were they, mm -hmm. i feel like they're a thing do you think they are what are some what do you how do you think you're perceived um oh god i hate i hate to even answer that um that's what we do here i really don't want to even know how i am i hate when people do impressions of me What's your favorite or, animal? um a, a, a whale whales i love whales so much oh my god <laughs> these are so cool i'll seriously wear these i love whales i used to be so obsessed with whales why as a kid have, why did you bring the that's whale so up? crazy that they were here yeah i mean whales are whales are my um they're the goat of animals and the goat is also a goat but it's why not, do you love yeah. whales what are i don't like, know they're what just are like so big bi blue whales they're what are like huge. three adjectives to describe a whale mysterious uh um a gigantic and gentle. Okay. What is that? Does that mean that th those are things I think about myself? Or that I want to be? No. Oh, okay. I'll let you know. All right. Yeah, I love whales. And I think I'm perceived as someone who talks about sex a lot and someone who um, My next is very just honest and like just uh, overshares. Over um verbal diarrhea and you haven't said funny yet no i mean i i think yeah i think people think i'm funny but i guess i don't think i'm funny 
So I don't yeah. want to say that because I'm like, oh, if people say, if I say funny, then people will be like, no, you're not. And I'm like, don't want to hear that. So, but I, you're, but the, but you have a apartment that is paid for by the, I trick, I don't know how I monies. trick someone into the, yeah. It, it's, yeah. So, it's so crazy. It's, and that, so, so, so your deep. audience is stupid. So I you're mean, calling your audience it's stupid. It's ridiculous. There are no, I mean, you know, the, do you ever feel like you're the funniest person in the world after a set and then another set later you're like, I am a joke and I've never been funny in my life? Like, I mm. vacillate. So I do have confidence about it. I do know that I'm funny, but, you know, I... I um Everyone's funny, first of all. Yeah. Everyone's funny. I agree. So just because everyone's funny... Then I am funny. Then you're funny. Okay. Like, memes have taught us all. I know. There's some that I'm like, Jesus Christ. I know. Christ. That's some random what? <laughs> woman that works at Chipotle in fucking yeah, yeah. Clearwater, Florida, makes this banger meme. And I'm like, yeah. Jesus. The comments on, no one talks, people want to talk about negative comments. I will not talk about them anymore. No one talks about how fucking funny comments are. I'll do a so caption. So funny. Killing, crushing. Oh, I mean, I get jealous of people. I'm like, easy. This is e okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. you're hot. I'm the one. You no. Know. It's wild. People so it's are like, so funny. People are so funny. So that's why I feel like bad. Even though, yes, I am a comedian. I am funny. I, I know I'm funny. I just. But imagine like <sighs> having a nail salon and being like, I'm bad at nails. I know. I know. Horrible I, nails. It's, it's, I just, I don't know. I'm not as funny as I want to like, be, Like, what I would guess. your storefront be if you were, like, Nikki Glaser's comedy? Um, I don't know. Just, like, uh, just things uh, other people won't say. Yeah. Stu like, things, like, That's I remember dope. I That's said dope. something on stage once, and this woman goes... I forget it was like have ta like ta talking about the taste of cum or something like that. And this girl was like, ugh. And I was like, oh, you've never tasted, like you've never tasted cum. She goes, I mean, I have. I just wouldn't admit it on stage. Ah! Like, I was like, oh, that is Yeah, that's why I'm getting paid. Yes, that's why yes. a plane flew me here. Yeah. And I. We are paid really for our bravery. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think so. And then I've found a way to, and I study comedy and I've like learned how to be really funny. And I am naturally funny. You're naturally but, funny. But, yeah. but funny is not, it's like, it's balls. Yes. It's I think the so. balls to say the thing. Mm -hmm. And thank God I don't have a filter. I mean, thank but God. But I do think that part of this is why you're, you know, it's like the reason you're so funny mm -hmm. is the reason you don't think you're funny. So it's like also our, Yes, never feeling like enough and having anyone that comes off stage and is like nailed it. You're like, I know, easy I, buddy, I know. easy buddy. Yeah, I, I, I felt that way before, but I don't say it. A surgeon doesn't leave surgery and is like, no, ah! <laughs> they. It's so weird. Yeah, I mean, like, I. There are times though that I feel like, wow, I really nailed that. I, I just, I'd never want to. Um, I, I sometimes just feel bad that people have paid so much money and I'm like, uh, Why? What, 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 we need to I, get into your regal. We need to get into your pride and regal. You need to get some horses and some dogs and train them. Okay. No one wants you to be um, apologetic. Yeah. I, no I, one I, needs it. No, no. No one's they don't. paying for it. No. They want, I know. Right? And then, But that's why I don't read like any comments because I'm so scared I'm going to hear these sentiments echoed um, and someone's like noticed them and uh, and been like, yeah, you 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 are a fraud. You know, like all that no one, shit. No, they, but actually, I don't. I've it, I've let a lot of this go. Like, I feel like the pandemic has really helped me yeah. center and be like, what's really like what is important? I know that's like so cliche to say, but I really just want like good friends and good and my if family you keep to be happy. And the fucking seat. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just want to be happy. I, I just want to not. Wanna, that's it. That's it. I just want to not feel bad about myself, and that is my resolution: is to just be so nice to myself. Like anything I used to beat up myself about, no, no more, no more. You don't have to be perfect. You don't even have to try. There's no goal. The new resolution, New Year's resolution is no near new, new Year's resolution. Nothing that you can fail at and get mad at yourself about. Never. Anything, <laughs> anything. I'm not, I'm tired of being, I've been so mean to myself my whole life. <laughs> I know. It's no enough. more. It's enough. Like you're I, dope I and you're hot and you're smart. And just be like, okay, they're, that's they're, me. Don't say flaw, say superpower.
last night I was picking out my hangnail and I really was talking to myself and I was like, stop doing this. You know it's going to bleed and you know it's going to make a big... Well, you need to get the cuticle cutters. I have everything. I, I'm not kidding you. you I like, tools. I have the tools. I know what I use. No, but I this is all about the female it. brain. Sorry. Sorry. Watch it, dude. It, yeah. This is, that is all very primal biological. There's a biological basis for all of that. Yeah. And, but my, my point being is that I just no more trying not to ever have any negative self -talk. just being like oh it's okay girl and those voices you can just um personify them and be like oh that was a weird thought yeah i have a i have a russian gymnastics coach in my head and he is um oh, you he's being russian? furloughed right now <laughs> he'll be back he's still we still zoom sometimes do but. you <laughs> do you are you of russian ancestry no but it's I just like i have a bella do. caroli really yeah reminds yeah. me of kelly eve Mm, love. I love that. Love. God. Oh. I can't. Just her face. Obsessed. Just obsessed. Her face. It can't be real. It's so good. It's like, very she, similar to your is face. Is she real? Yeah, it's it's good. She's yeah, they're just like the the tiny micro movements of her. She's so good. She's beyond. Um, uh, yeah, that was the first that was the first time in a really long time I was like, I I might be bisexual. Like this is I'm the I'm Killing getting Eve, I, I was like with my parents and I, was I was getting like, wet I was like I get it yeah no I was I, I really for it. the first time really felt like this isn't just a girl crush this isn't like a ha ha I my I'm a, I I'm not be, but, I'm like, not bisexual I just want to be with her <laughs> yeah it has to be her yeah I That's was like, like I, with babies I I'm like I don't know if her. I want a kid I want that kid yeah I want that exactly <laughs> yes yes that's how I felt about that but you know what you never told me what you're on. Oh, I'm on, um, uh, I don't want to say what I'm on because then people like are just going to like do it's it and it doesn't work it's for different. It's different for everyone. Yeah. So I'm on, but I'm on an antidepressant and a, a, a med for ADHD. And I have not had a suicidal thought since the day I started taking the ADHD medication. You are literally like on a different, like I'm calmer. Mm, you Aren't made I? me calmer when I. I feel like we're it. like on a raft. Yeah. yeah. I felt really soothed when like I was we're at like fucking... ASMR. Yeah. yeah, we're at like a Club Med Sandals yeah. Resort. Connected. And Present. what is your favorite article of clothing? Oh, as soon as you said that, I just thought about this like sweater that my mom got me from H&M that I always get compliments on. And I love being like it was $10 at H&M. And I know that because my mom told me that's how I hate it was. when you're like, what's that sweater? H&M! Everyone's <laughs> no, got to tell you everyone how little them. they spend on their shirt. Yes, yes. Cozy, cozy, big, oversized. And what, like, how would you describe it? Boyfriend sweater. I have a, <laughs> someone loved me once. Or I had a mom who got, was on shopping the sale rack at H&M Christmas Eve. What are the, <laughs> um, characteristics to, characteristics to describe it? Um, bit oversized, gigantic, <laughs> again, big, um, uh, just, um, cute, versatile instead of cute and um uh like just um and, and will last forever like is it timeless Ooh, is it like an off-the-shoulder situation it's like a cozy like it's almost this color beige just like cozy just you can wrap yourself in it like almost a blanket of a of a, a cardigan wow interesting um and then do you and made you, by children huh made by children over <laughs> <me. laughs> made by slave labor i forgot to say that the blood <laughs> that's of, one of, yeah that's all of the indian children yeah um and then water are you a water person yeah yeah really? I, I was a swimmer you're in, like a like lake high person no no oh. i don't want to like do things on the water i I don't want to go on a boat. I don't want to like have adventures. I'm not outdoorsy, <laughs> but I do. I used to love. I am like that's like was my sport, and I'm I'm like I can swim and stuff, and I love scuba diving. But no, I don't want to like have it. I I really like I'm recoil that in you're adventures. not because scuba diving was the first time that I was really the second time I did it. I was really able to be present because of the breathing yes you have it's to the first time you i meditated. make yourself go down yeah it's yeah the first time i was like oh that's what breathing is yes that's all you can hear down there and it's all the, the it's the only thing you can focus on because really. i have so much breathing shit from when you grow up in a catacomb you hold your breath a lot because you try to be quiet and hide mm -hmm. it's from hiding 
And the way women carry our purses, we hunch oh. and constrict our um, uh, chest cavity. And I got surgeries on my boobs. Mm-hmm. So it's all kind of, like, and stand up is, I gotta hold my breath because I gotta say this thing. And blah, 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 say this thing. Yeah, I'm always holding my you breath. You know what I mean? Always holding my breath. I, t- I hold my breath when I take pictures. Oh, that's interesting. Someone takes a picture, I'm like, <gasps> take it. Because you're sucking in? I don't know. Mm. I'm like doing huh. a giant Kegel. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm like dizzy and I don't know. We hold our breaths a lot. <laughs> yes. Yes. We don't even know it. But scuba diving is like, it's just transcendent. It was like so magical. It's a lot of rigmarole. I, I, yeah, it is. It's a lot. Oh, man, I've only been thing. once. I don't, don't want to pretend I, like I do this all the time. I skiing and scuba diving. Oh, that's like a skiing. once every 10 years, but like trying to get a, a both of those things. friend to like me. <laughs> Like trying to get like that's some what rich I, that's guy. What drew me to scuba it's like diving. Tra- it's like trying to get some rich guy. Like I'm like I guess I scuba like dive me. now. I do this and I'm this. Oh, person. all the things I've pretended to be into. I tell me, so tell me ta- all of them. No more hiking. No more hiking. You don't I like hiking. I, listen. How about I broke my shoulder uh, snowboarding trying to get a guy like me? Yeah. No, I definitely like. Um, yeah, I've I've done that where you just like morph into the version of the girl that you think they're gonna love. Goth. Yeah. I'm like in a cheerleading uniform. But I actively like on dating apps if someone's like has a lot of outdoor pictures, a lot of like on the on the lake or like just likes likes doing things, anything outdoor. Like I just You're go allowed no. to like do something out of your comfort zone because you sure. love someone. Yeah. Like, like people try to comfort me about this. It's like you're allowed to go like I don't like hockey. I think it's fucking boring. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's fucking. I can't even see the thing. Like I don't know if I have like a vision issue. Mm-hmm. I'm like a herding dog. I'm like an Aussie Shepherd. Like I, 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 I just. It's too much movement for me. And it's when you're close. It's it's like I've sat in the front front because I um made some Famous. mistakes and dated some athletes, and uh, and then you sit in the box in the back and you're like, I don't even, what is the, yeah. we're eating. Like, I so just, now you know. And then you're in the middle. The show, it's really more the people around you that you're like fucking. Yes. Getting the adrenaline from like being like, fuck you, man. Oh, this fucking guy. Yeah, so like, many sporting events. Yeah, yeah it's to, just to about to that. Be accepted. Yeah. But hockey, like, so it's like, I can go to hockey with you just because it's for you i can be of service but i'm not allowed to in six months go i went to that fucking hockey game with you and you can't meet my friend nikki yes yes it's not it can't can't score Uh uh-huh i love that you said that on the allison brie episode where you're like used to give gifts with like there was a there's strings attached like literally i'm sure you decorated it with strings but like there was always (laughs) i'm sure i mean the gifts you gave me i cannot this is more than i've gotten in five years of I Christmas is from my so parents. Happy. There isn't an H and M sweater in there. I'm gonna. Be <laughs> I mean, it like it's it's insane. But yeah, I I I agree with you. I I would just I would just always just try to do whatever a guy would want me to do. And now I finally know, like I don't like can- kayaking and canoeing and then and, and camping. Then, how about this? And then they think we're a stick in the mud because we go and we don't like it. Yeah, it's like and that's where the stereotype comes from. Even well, being well, a stick in the mud is triggering so, for me because it's outdoors <laughs> and involves like getting dirty. So it's like for me and then I'm going, I'm doing your thing and I'm trying to make you like me, but I'm like, can't do it right. And I'm not good at it. And they're like, oh, women are weak and women are stupid and they don't get it. It's like, just don't go. Uh, yeah. Hunters and gatherers, they just fucking separated. Right. So now I will go on the things, but I'll be clear about like, I don't usually do this. It is not something that I enjoy, but I'm going to, but sometimes I do enjoy it. Like I ended up loving scuba diving. I haven't gone since, but like I did love it. Sometimes I go on a hike and I'm like, this is the fucking best, yes, but yes. you gotta, it's like you trying to get me to hang out. Like you gotta force me to do things. But I, I, I have, I you, struggle between knowing when I don't, if I don't want to do something, is it out of fear or is it out of like, I truly don't like it. I don't trust myself, but now I really know I don't like uh, canoeing. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to canoe. I tested it and I go, I'm going to go and I'm really going to put this to the test. And so I can forever say <laughs> I tried it. Where did you canoe? I went canoeing with my um my my brother-in-law like owns I don't know what is company. the point of canoeing. It, exactly. 
that is my issue with it too. I'm like, what do we? But In what the do we 1600s, do? Sixteen hundreds, you just we try just, to get to the other side of the lake. You like see things that are. That's the point. Like with hiking, you just like see nature, and I guess it's like soothing and being on the water. It's calming, but it's like a lot of work, and your back hurts, and you're wet. You're like, just, I have to change your tampon. Yeah, and like your feet are in the boat, and there's and like, like that where's sloshy your phone? Water. Your phone's in like a Ziploc bag. Yes, it's 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 gonna flip. Not for me. Mm-hmm. It's not for me. So now I know that. But I, I went on a date and the guy took me on a hike and I was like, I got to be honest with you. I I don't this isn't going to be something if we work out like we're going to be doing together like this is going to be your thing. But we went on this hike and at some point during it, I snapped and I was like, I hate this because we had to like go through some like bro, like just a little bit of foliage. We had to like lift a branch and I was like, ah, my hair. Like I was so scared of my hair, like getting t- tangled and ripping out. And um, and I was like, and I go, if I get Lyme disease, I am sending you a bill. You're paying for everything. I do not want another f- goddamn disease that no one believes I I cannot have. see another celebrity get Lyme disease. No, you can't. I can't do it so I was like I was really bitching and and he I remember he was very like are you okay but I felt good because I was like oh at least I was honest and like I wasn't pretending to like it and you're not lying you mean and I wasn't like you're not a liar yeah yes I'm not a liar but I always think that I'm wrong and that like my likes and my dislikes are wrong and flawed and that I'm weird for my likes and dislikes so I always don't want to voice them because like I just hit this like Benton and I were in New York and I was like I hit this like this integration happened where I was like dude all the things I thought were fucked up about myself are kind of fucking awesome yeah I was like oh dude like like the, what that like well, well and, and also just like honoring our ancestors and like I'm like oh shit you're afraid to get caught in a tree dude your great 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 grandmother uh, yeah, yeah, was yeah. probably fucking like you know a foraging bitch <laughs> yes. and she like bobbed and weaved yes. and like you got that imprinted on your dna mm-hmm. like the epigenetic imprinting from that like that is like your so... weird things of like i can't be that like your like Whatever. things that make everyone kind of go what? yes oh, like there's some there's that's so dope like i think mine are smart like the things i don't like i'm like i don't like two lane highways i will not be on them i will never drive to las vegas Vegas ever again from Los Angeles. I don't like a highway where people are going over 30 miles an hour and there's only one lane separating it. It's that that's smart because people are texting now. You go like this and it's a head on collision. And you're did you have a car die. accidents in your uh, no past or no. maybe in your ancestors in my future? Ah! I'm just saying, if I do die in a car accident, this will definitely go viral. Yeah, You've got to post so- it. So <laughs> oh, oh, trust you do. Oh, honey. Be like, she predicted it. This I got it. Wild. Yeah. Can someone put a banana in her pipe, the pipe <laughs> of her car? I don't even know enough about cars to make a show. <gasps> oh, like, oh, I, you just play Mario Kart? I, can someone I, put a red turtle I, shell can someone put in, a, her, <laughs> in the path of her Uber on the way home? Okay. Can someone put a banana in her stove pipe? That's what I was about to say. Because there used to be a gig. I don't know what it is either. There used to be a gig called the Stove Piper that I used to do oh, yes. out I, in I, yeah. L.A. Um, what are your phobias? Do you have any, like, irrational fears that make everyone, like, you have people who kind of have to, like, cater to them? Please. Do. I mean, you don't like uh, your eye to be pulled on, even though you literally pull on it every day. Okay, Benton. Okay, so okay. When you will do this skin. and pull her <gasps> oh, skin. Yeah, Let's talk that. about. But skin. then when you're doing her makeup, she's like, "Don't pull my skin." Yes. Meanwhile, she's like this. No, oh, I got my makeup done today, and they have to like lift my. You know how like when you get fingered, <laughs> and a guy has to like do that to your vagina and like lifts that kind of like get in. <laughs> yeah, like when I was young, they just like put makeup on. Now they have to like search for my cl- like they have to peel it someone has to hold it up the older you get there's like more skin to like lift open and just it's so but i totally get the skin pulling thing that's why i won't go skydiving it's not out of fear of heights i don't want my face to go like brrr, like i don't want my face to stretch out and be a baggy sweater that i do love when i get to the gr- <laughs> yes I th- you know like that's uh, you have fear of stretching skin like okay. making silly faces going like that, I would never do that ever. Okay, so there is there are <coughs> about ten writers in Hollywood that I'm sure have told everybody in Hollywood that I am uh, this uh, story or this about me that when I was in the writers' room of a one NBC Whitney, <coughs> I would say to the writers, "Don't make me laugh because I don't want to get these laugh lines." Oh. And 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 then I was like, "Oh, that's obviously ridiculous. These are writers. They're they're their best joke." the best joke writers 
available. Uh, Dan Levy was there. And uh, and I would someone would make me laugh, and I would go, <laughs> "Oh yeah," but I would do this, and then I had the little exerciser thing that oh my God. like exercises your muscles. Uh huh. Uh, that was like a contraption, mm -hmm. and um, do you sleep on your stomach? Are you I someone sleep who doesn't nope. sleep. Oh, always on my back, straight up, like a um, mummy. You still do that? Uh, you trained with, yourself to do with, it? Yes, with noise canceling headphones on so that the product stays on my face. Oh my God. It doesn't absorb into the pillow and also sil silk pillowcase. Yeah, I do silk pillowcase, but I'm like, I'm definitely like, ugh. Never. No, no. Because then you, before Sorry. I go, if, if I ever sleep on my side, you lift the skin up. Yeah, I do that. And then, yes, <laughs> yes. But then, then you shift throughout the night. Oh my you God, wake I up brought this. Like, I forgot. Um, I was going to put this in your package. This is a, do you have this? A decolletage. It's is a it for sticker. Your, for your tits? For your, to put on. Oh. So Wait, they, do you wear it like, so does it? get wrinkles. Of course. Oh my wrinkles. God. Yes. That, that, that wrinkled chest that reminds me of like my aunts. Yeah. No, I can't do it. So it's I. It's going to happen though. I like, also um, wear gloves in the car. I can't. I mean, yes. For my. Oh, uh, I love, I love videos. masks because they cover your, like so I wear this, mine in I the do car. Before bed. And you can do this. There they are again. It's a fucking. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's great. Do you see it? You yeah. See, and then you're you don't get those chest wrinkles. That's, I mean, I'm probably you'll use it one time and then I won't again. But I love that you do this every single night. But you don't stretch out your face at all. You don't and like then any. When you're with your dude and they want to sex with you, you're like, uh, <laughs> can I just roll on my stomach? <laughs> you're like, I don't want to have to take off my. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my weird scratch and sniff sticker you put that oh yeah if sex starts after yeah and then it starts to have like weird hair on it and like lotion can i have that one yeah, do i get that one has whitney dna on it you can put it back on a um little panel here. Yeah, you have like everything that. here oh look uh, i did a lot of like informal modeling and like gr i grew up around like model yeah models, you're and they a had model all the little, i forget all that you're a model little, all, no like like Mall model, like you local your model, like dude. local model. Well, you could you could have kept modeling. And they and you do would have had these a... little tricks. I mean, yeah, it's it's too much. I just feel so overwhelmed by all the things. Don't you have to don't do be to don't be stop that, stop that stop that stop that. Stop well, that. Well, how do I stop? Um, what are you okay. doing now? Okay. What is this? So then the I never apply my creams down. So up always up 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 up. 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 You okay. don't go like this with your cream. So, so you never go like oh my yeah, no. Your your skin um is like a rubber band. Yes, you know, you know what I mean. So it's mm -hmm. like it. And I said I was fighting with Tim, screaming at Tim Dillon's face the other day. Because it was like, treat your skin like a piece of leather. Not should never be wet too long, should never be in the sun too long, mm -hmm. and should never not be lubed up. Okay. That's what it is. Right. You know? So it's like for me, I um only upper motions for your makeup or mm -hmm. whatever. And then fingers, because the brushes I think are just like scratchy here. And then I do do this to do my eyeliner. Yeah, that's but then Benton was doing it like circles or something, and that's what. Uh, okay. That's what because I would... circles promote blood flow, which promotes the health of your under eye. <sighs> Attraction, not promotion. I just. <laughs> you, I mean, yeah, that's that. And and there's a lot of genetics at play for everybody. Of course. You know, and I did Althera for three years. I think I'm doing it tomorrow. What is that? It's like a laser that is titans yeah yeah something. i've done gets the ahead of stuff. it mm -hmm. yeah yeah and i'm not the the topical laser that takes your s layers of skin no good i think because it thins your skin long term and gives you more sun damage okay but this is one that goes that like your body thinks you're dying and you gave me so many serums like, i know how many what is your regimen like how long does it take i can't you i don't the end of the night? i mean i'm sure I, yeah don't go into deep like, i know you're not going to give it away but like how long does it take you when you go to bed do you just go Oh, good God. I got to start I this do, process. I do it while I'm like FaceTiming friends. Okay. Female comics. Mm -hmm. um, like Esther and Andy or whatever. I'll just be like doing my thing or I'll be with my dogs or I'll be watching TV or I'll be like listening, oh, the to, new a, face? listening to a podcast. I did the new face for a long time, but my derma roller. Mm -hmm. um, we have created an oil, a oil. You created one? Benjamin oh. Ray. It was about oh. time. Hickerson and I have created a oil. Um, 
that will be, because I use like five different oils and I don't want to tell people to buy five different oils. It's obnoxious and mm -hmm. annoying and it's clutter. And I don't, we want, will. I don't want people's house to look like my purse. <laughs> so I, uh, we're putting it in. I think it comes out next year at some point. Oh my God. Give or take. Give or take. Nice. It's got to come out next year. I'll we're also making it. a beard oil. Uh huh. Oh. Which is uh, hair. I mean, could be for. Yeah, would you I have a place. I'll for use it in my hair too. And uh, that has biotin in it, so it promotes hair growth. Promotes. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just like you, you people, you got sunscreen on the hands, sunscreen on the face. Like, I just am like a gnarly about it. Yeah. What your hair thing? Have you gone into depth about your hair color? Like, I'm sure that you covered it. Like, I, because I was getting back to it. I, I remember when you did it and you were like, I was like, there's no way this is going to last. And it's lasted. I, don't, I love it so much. I, what, don't, what? I just, I am sick of like, like Hollywood, I'm, I'm I, like, doesn't fuck with me in a way that is like, in terms of like casting, like I've always been like, I gotta be the, like, I'm not getting those jobs. When you were trying to be For what they so wanted. Long. So like, it's I'm like, not, okay, I'll I'm just do it. I'm too tall, whatever. I'm too loud, I'm too nasal, I'm too- Too tall. Obnoxious, always too tall. Too loud, too big, too fucking annoying, too this, too that. Like, and it just was, and I, I kept my hair color brown just because it was like, well, what if I Safe. need to audition? Yeah. And what if I might get this- job for this amazon show or this netflix show and i just was like fuck it dude it was just and then the pandemic happened it was like you know do you look back at the when you were like really like you know during like whitney times when you were just operating on a level that was probably you look back it was like unhealthy for you unconscious and you were not you were unconscious D do you think but did you think you were happy did you know you were miserable did you th like i had no concept i was had, no i was stoked thought, i grew up poor dude yeah like having your own I, I like i don't fuck with that shit i don't fuck with the i got everything i wanted and now i'm gonna be miserable i don't do that yeah. shit anymore it's fucking it's ungrateful it's rude like we are nailing, like, do you know what I'm saying? You have to take the wins when they come. And I was so excited that I got to work with my fucking best friend and get all these expensive clothes that I got to wear and I got to play in front of it. I got to put on a play in front of a bunch of people. Yeah. That were like, thought it was which, funny. <laughs> which is what a play is. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. <laughs> there were like people that were laughing and it was a blast. <laughs> Yeah. Like I and, and for all the people that dragged me so hard so publicly for so long and I was like such a punching bag, I was just like, oh, you guys, I didn't know about it. Yeah. It happened like later. Interesting. And I like Googled myself or like press started coming out and then it was like, oh, Whitney, like cancel Whitney and Whitney's like annoying and dumb and stupid and sexist and obnoxious and skinny and ugly and whatever the fuck. Annoying and not funny and all these things. And I just was like, dude, I don't. I just bought a home. <laughs> like, I grew up poor. Yeah. Like, what do you, like, okay. Like, I didn't give a fuck. It was just sort of like. We were but, all so jealous. Yeah, but I was like, uh, yeah, I was like having a, bla I was just like laughing with Chris Leal. No, you, d you, you did look like you were having fun too. And that was infuriating as well. I'm, sh I'm sure. All of us. If I saw a show that was called You're like. You're always laughing. You're always having fun. But I, I was alone for so long mm. and like. Um, didn't have fun for so long and I, I don't know how to have fun not working because I'm like I don't know my role yeah like going into a party or something I'm like can I clean up can I help I, I don't know how to just you know be so but if I know everyone where everyone's places and everyone's job okay you're the key grip mm -hmm. you're the lighting person you're you play my sister in the show and you play my brother oh my god we did that shoot the other day and like you just like you're, you need to fix your hair. Like, you just, like, taking care of it and being, like, you'll thank me later. Like, <laughs> just... Oh, yeah, the parasol Thing. I mean, thing. yeah. I mean, I, I I needed that because I didn't have a hair and makeup person it. there. Women can handle the truth. Yes. We have to stop with this, like, I don't want to hurt her feelings. Like, she, we can handle it. We can have a... a, a we are designed to have something tear through our bodies mm -hmm. with no anesthesia. As you're saying this, I'm like, can I handle the truth? Like, there are times where I'm just like, I would have maybe rather... From the right person. Not Yes, yes. And when it's, like, said in a way that's like, uh, this happens... Or, by the way, all, this, like, you're gonna you're not going to like this now. Oh, no. But in, like, two... I'm not going to I'm not gonna do that. Uh, but in two years, you're going to go like, ah... Meh. 
That was yeah. true. I remember I had an ex who uh, was really not well. And he said to me once, we were in the car and we like went to a dinner and I'm a comic, right? So it's like, I'm like 27 and I'm like fucking, fucking always got the mitts on. I don't know, boxing gloves on. And always like, hey, what's the, the fucking shirt and sweater and the fucking shirt shirt. Like yeah. I just thought, I just was used to being around comics all the time. And yeah. That's how my family talked to each other. You know, it was like Roseanne's family. It was like, we just, all we did was roast each other, and make fun of each other. And then I went to like a uh, sophisticated <laughs> family gathering where people respected each other. You know, I'm like a feral animal. And uh, I was like, boom, boom, boom. And ki like killing, like meeting his parents and his parents' friends. Yes. And I'm like destroying this dinner. Right. And then I'm roasting him. Oh. The guy I'm with. I'm like, yeah, because he doesn't fucking do this. And he doesn't fucking, and he doesn't know how to do this. And, he, and I'm killing. Yeah. And then we get in the car and he was just like, you're a bully. <sighs> and I was like, what, what do you mean? Like, I was like, I thought I nailed that. They love me. Like, I, I was so funny. And Did was, he not know any of the things that you had said? No, it was just like, like all the, it was funny because it was all true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it was hurtful. Yeah. Because it was. And I was like, oh, I'm being a bully. Fuck. It was stuff that he's probably ashamed of and would like to change about himself. You're humiliating Yeah. Me. Yeah. You can't do that to men. No, I, you, you can't roast and, your partner. And they're so. Men do not and want to be women. with female. And a women. guy that like like is okay Don't with roast going your partner. No, do not. You you can't, and it's hard to not do that because that is what we are good at. And but I I mean I sometimes I'm like, you know why haven't these guys I've liked like me back or whatever and I go I don't know that I they don't want to be made fun of they're so scared of us talking about their penises in our act and uh, for, it's not just stand-ups it's a female comics we're like no guys don't. it's all everyone yes everyone's got a microcosm of it it's like people are like is it hard dating a girl who's breaking up with someone who's famous it's like in your town if you break up with someone you're they're f it's everyone in the but town if someone knows. dates you whitney they're gonna get talked about on here and yeah. for most guys yeah. that they don't want that yeah and even if you're saying nice things they don't want like and if it they takes do that's a red flag too yes <laughs> so it's like it's it's a hard person to it's hard to find the right person um uh okay so the your favorite animal whale is how you perceive yourself big mysterious gigantic and gentle Okay. Yeah. And it's a little, this one is, a, this is maybe the weirdest one I've done. And endangered. <laughs> in, That's why I like them too. They're like the not many of them. Underwater. Endangered. Like they're just solo. They pop up every now and again. And if you see one, it's very, very special. And they're the biggest animal ever. And the, yeah, it's special. Very special. I love that. So I think that that's why I like them. But gentle is good. I but really want to be gentle. Yeah, that's, that's how so you nice. see yourself. That's good yeah, news. Yeah, I want to be gentle. And then um, uh, 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 your favorite article of clothing is how other people perceive you. And usually there's a big dissonance. Hmm. This is based on a Freudian test. Oh. Um, oversized, gigantic, big blanket, cute, versatile, timeless. Hmm. Okay. And then we did get your body of water. What, what is there a sweater that's funny, though? <laughs> is there a way to say that about a piece no, of clothing? No, it's like you're everyone. That's the oh, that, I guess that could everyone's be. like she's so great. She can do anything. She's so warm. She's cozy, timeless. Like versatile, it just is like a cheap. lot of the a lot of your like you you just need to rewrite your story Hair. about yourself. Yeah, it's like updating your software. Yes, you know what I mean. It's like no one's mad at you. No, I am you. rewriting that story about yeah. myself. I like I'm I'm beginning to see myself the way others. How see you me. doing? Like, great. People like the fact right. that you like I, I like you. I trust you. I trust you to have good judgment of people. If you like me, I'm like, okay, then I must be good. I'm yeah, gonna like what, hand what it you? over. And my fans, if they think I'm funny, people are stupid. Yeah. I like these people. <laughs> they're actually I do like my fans. Yeah, like, insecurity I don't, is over. It's canceled. yeah, they're right. I'm it's not bad. right. Yeah, I, my perception not is as, not correct. You're not, you're not one of your fans. You don't go see your shows. Yes, and I uh, I think I probably would honestly. Yeah, but I'm trying. What's your favorite to, body of water? Um, it could be a pool, it could be a pond, water. it could be a pool, it could be a river. Ugh, the it, time I squirted, I left a puddle in a bed in Las Vegas at the win. I was, it was the only time I was so excited. I'm not even joking. That was, I c didn't know I could. It was the best feeling of my life. I was, uh, and it was just so much. And I, rem I immediately like, like went like this to be like, is it pee? And it wasn't it was something <laughs> different. And I've never been able to recreate it. And that was 
But if we're talking about like, yeah, <laughs> bodies of who water, at the win? I mean, it wasn't. It was me by myself. What? With a, with a yeah. You it, tried to do it. What? The only I not yeah. Well, no, I didn't know it was. I didn't. I thought I couldn't squirt. I mean, I tried for years with my boyfriend to squirt, and it's it it for me. It took like going past the first organ. I've never been able to recreate it because every time I'm done coming, well, I'm just like I'm done. I just want to like pressure. shut the computer and like go to bed and like pull up an ASMR video. But this time I was just so horny for someone that I was gonna hook up with like the next night, and. So and that I was like, I was like, oh, go again. And then I, it, when I doubled up, that's when it happened. And it was so exciting. And I like, I remember just like telling everyone, I mean, I'm telling everyone now, but I was really, really excited that I could do it. But I haven't done it since. I mean, I haven't come in like a month and a half, I think. When was uh, the win? That was like two Julys ago. <laughs> <laughs> Your brain is amazing. July 3rd, 2009. I mean, it really was July 3rd, 2009. Uh, 19 at the treasure island resort <laughs> that's where i probably was have you ever squirted i don't i i you would know I, I tried i know we all try yeah i tried like in my bathtub to like learn how to do it and then i was like you know what i'm good at a lot of things the water level rises slightly yeah no. are you in the bath and you just wait for it to um, <laughs> you know i was like i was just like i i my vagina is not enough for you i have fake boobs like i i like i'm i'm you yeah have my butt if you want it right. like i don't like I don't need to beat myself up over this. No, 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 no. Yeah, I, I just, I, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it happened. I, I had given up, and it yeah. wasn't something I was like Someone trying to do. Someone once sent me a video. A guy friend of mine sent me a video or showed me a video of a girl, of his girl, squirting, uh, and it was like, it was like plastic bags. Yes. Down. And I just, I don't. It looked um, <laughs> scary. Yeah, it's a lot. Of I was like, I don't want that in my. Brooklyn and sheets. Yes, but it's a it's an ultimate. It looks like a mess. <laughs> it's just like a mess. It looks unhygienic. Yeah, it's. It looks like a weird. Um, remember the song by pissing, Live it's... Lightning Crashes? And oh mother dear. Yeah, the one that's like written about the Oklahoma City bombing. Her placenta falls to the floor. <laughs> yes, it's like your water breaking. Yeah, like sure. I don't. It feels like it feels pregnancy. -y. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm um, good. It's just like the feeling of it. Like you're just like oh. Okay, am I gonna like it's? But my, I have the, problems with orgasms, so it's my, like, felt really victorious. I feel like my anxiety about ruining my sheets because I have a scarcity complex growing up uh, without money that I I couldn't enjoy whatever the joy is because I'd be like this is ruining my mattress and does it go through the mattress mm -hmm. like I would I I wouldn't be able to yeah so much of it's mental yeah that's I mean that's my yeah that's always my biggest fear about coming is like that I'm gonna shit everywhere. It's every time that's why I can't do it because I'm so like with a guy I'm always scared I'm gonna shit I have to be with I have to find someone who if I shit I'll be like that's okay if I shit yeah because I really feel like that's gonna you happen. have to date like doctors like ER who doctors. have seen I'm it not kidding yep not kidding yeah who like nothing would gross get, them out I don't give a fuck it's blood gross. shit gross things no, happen not to them yeah you need to date like a like a paramedic okay. <laughs> Or yeah. a serial killer. Yeah, or a serial, or a serial killer. Ser yes, I think I have. Um, yeah, I think I have. Are you having sex right now? Yes. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> like how often? Pretty reg. A pretty. Yes! <laughs> yeah, pretty regularly. Oh, that's great. I know. I'm in like a, a quarantine trauma bond Fun. with a medical professional. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you so from you experience? Just, yeah. Uh, what? I didn't say anything. What? Really? I you didn't, didn't say anything. Really. Yeah, roll the tape. You thought it. <laughs> the tape. The film. Yeah, roll it. Um, okay, what are, I mean, this is, we, I mean, I could do this forever and we probably oh, will. I mean... You're starting another show? We're not allowed to talk about it? Yeah, yeah I'm starting an, uh, another podcast that'll be out in March, but I can't. Ooh, say. it's like a big fucking, yeah. Why, are you, why don't you live here? Um... Because I just, uh, me, I mean, me, I just see me, I'm scared to like oh my move God, life is and so to commit to, to another what, place. Why? I don't know. 
I just want to be in St. Louis for right that's now. That's dope. Well, that is actually dope. I, I like being around my family. That's awesome. I, I, that's normal. I don't know that it's normal. I feel like no, almost no, 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 like no. a teenager Most again. I'm like, I'm scared to go to are college. Near their families and see It them. feels good. And I can have a career. I like coming no, out this here. This whole like, I, I want an excuse to just stay Atlanta at your place. And I live in LA and see my parents once a year. That's what's weird. Yeah, I didn't. I've really liked being around my family. I've Hot niece tape. and nephews. And, yeah, um, that's dope. It's awesome. And, yeah. That's, yeah. uh, that is normal. That is healthy. That is grounding. That is how we're designed to be. Yeah. But yeah, I'm all, but when this whole thing lifts and life goes back to normal, I'll probably be back here. And I'm really like, it's it's about where I find the most friends. So honestly, like coming here and working towards a friendship with you is a motivating factor in me living here. Like if if, you, if I like, I'm like, oh, there's a solid friend there that yeah. I can rely on. But th- I that come, would be reason enough. I come with like a very deep crew. No, I know. Of me's. Do you know what I mean? What do you mean? Like, if you're friends with me, you, you've got, like, 10 other people I that would know. die for you. I know. It's really, it's intimidating, too. I don't, Olivia okay. Munn, I'm ready for Snore. Oh, yeah. Oh, the best. Yeah. And I want to get in that sauna with you guys and take pictures and, <laughs> like, get naked Every time you take a picture together. with her, you'll get on page six. E- really? Let's just, like, pump up this career. Let's just, like, bump it. Yeah, I mean, that's The girl that's what cannot you offer. W- go to the grocery store without getting in, uh, page six i don't know yeah what daily she mail every, they write about everything she does jared everything yeah. she does except for eating burgers with me but that's fine <laughs> <laughs> when you guys hang out nothing happens <laughs> so yeah you'll have like an alliance of like warrior bitches yeah that I, like kill for you i just want f- good friends i don't even know that i ever need a man like i really love friends so much like I just, yeah, I love my girlfriend. And as soon as you stop needing something, you'll, yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? I'm finally at that place. So when I'm like, chase, where is it? When you I'm ch- like, oh, yeah, oh, I know. Yeah, as then. soon as you stop looking for your keys, like, oh, there are my keys. Like, yeah, it's, yeah. Oh, it's just some fucked up yes. law. Yeah, um, I can't find my contacts, so I can't see anything. But one day, <laughs> one day they'll be there. Betty, remember when you forgot your shoes? My wallet. You forgot your shoes. Oh, yeah, we were doing that. Yeah, my other shoes. Betty is shoes. like the most high functioning person I know. And then every now and then, he'll be like, sorry, I'm late. I forgot my shoes. That's like only a thing that happens in a nightmare. <laughs> like, that's like a really... <laughs> I had to bring two pair and I only had my house shoes. And he like oh. showed up and he was like, so you sorry. Weren't shoe- you weren't like at no. Trader Joe's. <laughs> I just oh, shit. A shoe that was appropriate. Okay. okay. It was just like, he'll just be like, I left my wallet in Target. It was like something that's just like wild. I- you don't do that? You don't lose things? Oh, okay. <laughs> I lose shit all the time. I, I mean, lose, that's ADD. I used to, by the way. I was with um, my oldest, oldest friend, uh, uh, Nick, who makes appearances every now and then in stories here, where he was like, remember when you used to, th- when I was 22, remember when you used to throw your wallet uh, into a trash can and coffee bean once a week and we'd have to go through the... I'd have, I'd have to <laughs> yes. dumpster dive after performing at the comedy <laughs> store. I'd have to dumpster dive through uh, trash at a coffee bean or a Starbucks yes. to find my wallet. I mm-hmm. mean, this happened like right, this is why I put stickers on everything now and I'm gonna put stickers on my phone. What do you mean? You can't make, I don't, I don't do black, I'm over black oh, phones. Oh, like, like no black to phone, stand out to you. No black phone, no black wallet. Oh yeah, yeah. Neon pink, stickers, glitter. To, uh, yes. catch the eye. And I have, this is a necklace. Yeah. So it's, I'm not losing this thing. Yeah. I don't give a shit. I'll get a fa- fanny pack is, we're very close to a fanny pack. Then you yeah, listen that's, to the podcast. It's up here like this. That there's got to be a better way. No, no, there's no, no. This says successful. <laughs> this says have it all. The better way is where's my phone, Brandon? Ah, can someone call it? It's on silent. I mean, uh, it's chaos. This yeah. is it. This is the best case scenario. Yeah. Are I, you? I lose everything. Necklace shaming me? No, dude. I just need the portable charger. I that have goes your my necklace pocket. on. Like I have your shirt on. I have your necklace on. This was my dream, by the way. I like came over, kind Keep of dressed like of shit, just so you'd be like, "Do you want something out?" Like I wanted you to offer and me I felt your so guilty wardrobe. The other day we did a show, and <laughs> you were like, "I don't know what to wear," and then I walk in, and then I made fun of it. <laughs> And I am such a. And I was uh, you caught me at such a bad time too because I was already feel like I didn't was, have any hair and makeup going there, horribly. and I was with Paris Hilton who is so stunning in person. Like Shocking. she's as stunning in person as you would as in, in on on print. And she had someone touching her up every 10 minutes, but I didn't have anyone and they couldn't even touch me because of COVID. So I was just like eight hours in like haggard, like raccoon oh eyes and like frizzy and like my shirt was untucked and she kept like tucking it back in and being, and I was just like, I didn't hire stylists this time. Cause I was like, I'm just going to try to do it on my own. 
and and save a thousand bucks and actually get to keep the clothes. You no like, offense to them, they do great work. I, I remember like, walking in and being like, "She looks cold." Oh my god! Like, I was like, <laughs> she, I, "I think that's on backwards." Like I was just started like, "Oh my god!" I just, it's like it's uh, happening again. Yes, it was like I, because aw, I felt it was like a, so insecure, and then you just—that was the thing. You said everything that I was already <laughs> thinking uh, people are going to think about me, and you were just like, "Can we get another hole in Nikki's <laughs> shirt? Does anyone have any scissors? Look at your flyaways. Is anyone even looking at her?" Because by the way, you look like a mess. And I was just like, hi, Whitney. And then, and then you go to Paris, you go, and you? Statue. Perfection. Perfection. Statue. Yeah. And I was like, no, and I looked at you and I, I, I think I said, fuck you. I know, like, you literally, I, it was real. Happy. It was real. It was, that it was, was a so real one. Real. And it was fair and it was deserved. No, but I felt like your boyfriend at that family dinner. I was oh. like, you're me. Oh. I was really, up I was, I was hurt. And then, but then I was hurt because I do a thing in my stories. If you fucking watch my stories and if you didn't mute me, I do a thing where I make fun of sweaters that have a fucking shoulder cut out of them because I don't understand what season it is that's like my I whole, have a good shoulder Whitney it's, it's a whole a good look that's, that's and it your... makes uh, yes I do have good shoulders a lot of all the things that I my stylist used to I buy for me I think your theory was well if you would pay more attention to me I wouldn't have hurt your feelings <laughs> and I think if we would have made this more about me you wouldn't be so hurt <laughs> I'm hilarious. <laughs> if you were just, right, though. If I, you like, knew more about me, you would know that why that was funny. I don't have an extra two hours every day to spend watching your stories. But, um, yeah, that was... Someone's got to pay for those sweaters but I'm giving you. the fact that I was able to be like, fuck you, that was like, oh my God, we're friends. Because no, there's no usually resentment. I'd go like, <laughs> that was so fun. And be like, that was... like, And I would swallow it and then bitch about it later. And instead I was able to tell you how I felt in that moment, yeah. process it. And then later on you were like, I that was... And and we just had a... Mo it just felt good. It felt like, I was oh, like that's, that's how I talk to my friends. That's, was, not, that's not how I used to talk to Whitney Cummings. I would just like want you to like me and be like, oh yeah. But I was just I like, know. no. It was also like, it was also just like, this is my whole thing. Like, wrong time, wrong time, right thing, wrong time. You could have pulled, should have pulled her aside. Also, you're not. <laughs> I direct think I like my te like tears formed in my eyes. I was just having like such a day where I'm like, I'm ugly, and I, I like have you're bad fashion. You're standing next to you're standing next to Paris Hilton, and I came in like a fucking no. bulldozer. But then I felt so relaxed, like after that with you, and I felt like I don't know, I I was. Those moments where you're like, oh, I actually expressed what I was feeling when I was feeling it. Like, had a feeling, had an actual feeling instead of suppressing the, like, yeah. sadness and got anger. It out. I got it out. And that's what prey animals do. That's what horses do. They fucking claim their space and they move on and they forgive, right? Dogs, they... And then yes. best friends again. Yes. Like, that's what humans, we hold on to that shit and it's so boring and gives us cancer. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. And, um... Yeah, so it was it was it's a good moment. So it ma it made me feel like, oh, she's a good friend of mine because I was able to talk to you like a, a sister. So cool. And yeah, I, in front the whole crew was like, Whoa. I know. I I like I almost did in I reacted in a way that made people uncomfortable because I I think I was letting out a lot of aggression in that mo like a lot of just It was frustrating cuz you The whole day was I was filled with insecurity. When you're a comedian and you feel like you don't know how to be funny and you're with someone that's not a comedian and you like kind of have your kid gloves on and you don't want to hurt them but you still want to be funny but you don't want to make fun of them yeah. and then you have to self-deprecate which we're not doing anymore. I know. And that's that's really it's, taken. It's like you have your hands tied behind your back and you're like I'm not being funny so my only thing I can do right now is be pretty and I can't even fucking be that. Yes. Yes. Yes, that is it. Yeah. You know, not being able to self-deprecate anymore. Like you, liking you, myself, uh, that's gonna I'm gonna yeah. lose. But no, my no, no, but you but you everything. can if it's funny. Yes. You're almost done. Don't yeah, it's true. Elephants. That's and if it's true. It's yeah. and if it's true, but like we still get to be funny. And also we're grandfathered in. Like my generation, we didn't have fucking Jay Shetty and Brene Brown <laughs> and all this shit. Okay. Like we didn't have self we're allowed to have low self-esteem. We're allowed to say, Oh God, this looks ridiculous. Like, don't talk to yourself like that. Don't fucking talk to yeah. me. I am your elder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they <laughs> I will say whatever the fuck I want about myself. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I, I choose to not exhaust other people with my self-deprecating pity me shit. Okay. It's just gross. And yeah. Ugly. People don't. Yeah. If they, then it puts them in a shitty situation. And it really is just it about you. It sets a bad example. End. But I am allowed to say like, because mm, I shouldn't have had those weed blueberries. Like I can do that. Yeah. I can call myself out. It's good. But I don't want to self-deprecate. Yeah. We're the best. We yeah. put makeup on now that the interview is ending. Do you want to end it? <laughs> Whitney, this has been um, 
a, a great podcast because it's it's we've gotten serious. You got teary eyed. I would have, but I don't feel my feelings. I'm on Prozac, so I didn't really sob. Oh what, yeah, that was emotional about about. I don't want to bring it up. Okay. <laughs> Side of the road. I'm over it. Um. Yeah. So. Um. Oh wait. shit! I really wanted to. Um. Fuck, you're too interesting. I really wanted us to go through our old specials and talk oh, show appearances. I really wanted to do and that kind too. of roast ourselves. Or I didn't, and, and I we're tried to steer the conversation away from it so I wouldn't have to look at I myself. I almost from think the... it's maybe a couple more people should do it with us. Yeah, it shouldn't just be us, <sighs> so that it doesn't feel so like. Eh. Yes, yes. You know, we should... I think it'd be good for me to do because I don't watch. Like, remember, I've never watched. Do you remember Pop Up Video? Yeah, on VH1. It's like that. Maybe it's a show. Maybe it's like yes. a special where we all look at our old talk show appearances and just like remember when Bill Burr was on um, Conan. There was a new stage, and he um uh uh it was like the mic was really far away, and the music stopped. The band stopped, and then he was like. <laughs> started like running to the mic and he was like, oh Jesus, I didn't think I was gonna make it there. Like he just misjudged the Yeah, like, He didn't get to have a sound check and it was just this funny moment where like, like something always goes wrong yes. and there's always some weird. And I think it'd be interesting just to just take it apart and be like, oh, this was the story of that day. This is what I, I this is what I, this is where I picked out that outfit. This is who. And by the way, right before the show, they told me I wasn't allowed to say Jesus Christ and then I ruined the whole joke and I wasn't allowed to say asshole. So I had to say dumb uh, crap head. Yeah. And it just like totally bombed, you know, just like all that. I walked over the couch after my first night show and it was uh, Rain Wilson was the, the other guest and I walked over and I said, he was like, good job. And I go, thanks, Dwight. Oh, <laughs> and I didn't catch it until I watched it later. I was like, oh, God. By the way, that's so funny, though. <laughs> Thanks, Dwight. <laughs> and he thinks you're a genius. Oh, it was, yeah. And, oh, man. That's that was, so funny. That was, I can't wait to watch that one with you. Thanks, Dwight. Yeah. It's also like, and I didn't who notice. says, like, when Benton gives me something, I'm not like, thanks, Benton. Yeah, like, why did you say his name? Why did you say any name? I'm so confident about it. <laughs> it's such a weird thing to do. Like, you're not, you're not like, thanks, Jimmy. Oh, uh, like, so back to you, like, you're a local news anchor. Yeah. Well, it's been fun, Whitney. Love you. Don't ride elephants. Uh, Nikki Glazer, all the Instagrams, all the. 